hey guys so on today's video we're gonna do a white chocolate mocha i've had a few of you guys ask me this like how would i make it it's fairly simple the two main components are white chocolate sauce and i'm gonna use the charani one and then the monin white chocolate syrup those are the two things that i've been doing that really make it a white chocolate mocha so without further ado let me show you the simple recipe but very very delicious recipe let's get started okay so before cueing the nice relaxing music that we all love here at least i do i don't know about you guys thumbs up to this video if you like the relaxing music because i like doing it i'm gonna talk about what i'm gonna be using where did i leave my give me one sec all right so for the flavors we're gonna use like i said white chocolate sauce from torani this one right here I've tried both Tarani and Monin's version of white chocolate, and I like Monin better. Um, this one is just the regular white chocolate syrup. As far as coffee goes, this is what I'm going to use, Bianco Leggero. I just want something sweet, very creamy and smooth, so Bianco Leggero is definitely going to hit all of those points. If you have the original line, then you can use Chiaro, which to me is kind of like a dupe for... Bianco Leggero, brew it as espresso, not long ago, it really waters it down, so espresso for sure. And if your machine is programmed to do ristrettos, then even better, I would probably do two of those and then add them. But if you're not interested in ristretto, espresso, two of these will give you the kind of equivalent to a Bianco Leggero drink. If you want something stronger, because I've heard some people say that Bianco Leggero is weak as heck. So if you want something stronger, but you don't want it to kind of mess with the notes of like the chocolatey, I would definitely use Altizio if you have the Virtuo line. So Altizio has cocoa roasted notes, perfect for any mochas or chocolate type drinks. If you have the original line, you would just use this one. This is Firenze Arpeggio and it has, I had this one's decaf, but it comes in a regular one as well. Just do two shots of this for your drink and I think you would be good to go. But today we're gonna use Bianco Leggero. We're gonna do one tablespoon of the syrup and then we're gonna do a half a cup of the milk. The milk that we're using is the oat, the silk oat milk. This is the zero sugar, but if you guys don't mind sugar, I'm just trying to cut down a little bit. You know, I don't mind it here and there, but I love sugar and that's why I'm just trying to cut it down where I can. I'm doing this one, but you have the silk extra creamy oat milk. Oh my God, that one is like super, super, super creamy. And then you can even play around with the vanilla flavor from Chobani. I don't want to do that today just because I like how it tastes with this because the syrups and the sauces add enough flavor. So the milk, you don't really need it to be flavored. Let's just do this. We're going to do a half a cup, one tablespoon of the syrup, and then you're going to drizzle the amount of your choosing for the sauce. I'm not gonna give a measurement because I usually do kind of give or take depending on the day. So you'll see how much I drizzle, but that is pretty much gonna be the recipe. So let's get all of that together and put it into a yummy white chocolate mocha ice drink. everything together when you use reusable ice you just have to make sure you swirl let me take the lid off for now swirl your drink for a few seconds <laughs> it's not a video of mine if spills don't happen just 
mixing everything together, swirling it in. Okay, let's try it. Mm. I had to stop myself. This is pretty good. So creamy, so delicious, so smooth because Bianco Leggero is just, you know, if you've drank it, you know. What do they say? If you know, you know. It's pretty good. So good. So hopefully you guys get to try this recipe. Like I said, it's super simple and it's fairly similar to what Starbucks does. I actually don't know if they do a white chocolate syrup or if all they use is a white sauce. But I would say I use the solid one tablespoon for the syrup, I mean for the sauce, and then one tablespoon for the for the syrup. So hopefully you guys get to try this recipe. If you guys do try it, tag me on Instagram, Alex made me brew it so that I could see you guys drink and then let me know what your thoughts if you like it or not. Thumbs up this video if you're gonna try this recipe. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.